Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I'm Sarkis and welcome to another home theatre tour video. Today is a special one and in fact, I haven't seen something like this for a long time and yes, I'm calling it Australia's cleanest clip setup. The colour combination of furniture, gear and overall room looks epic and clean of course. But if you're into general tech, home theatre, PC and gaming, please smash that subscribe button to be notified of my upcoming videos. Let me know what you guys think of this video in the comment section below, but let's not waste any more time and let's check this out. Now this room belongs to Paul Lazaro, who's a tattoo artist from Melbourne, Australia. Paul used to be a DJ when he was a lot younger and that's also when his passion for surround sound and home theatre grew rapidly and 10 years ago purchased his new house with his family and slowly upgraded his gear from 5.1 Yamaha system to a 5.3.4 clip setup. But he's a massive Yamaha fan so you'll still see some of his Yamaha gear in this video. So let's take a closer look at Australia's cleanest clips living room setup. So this room is a 16 and a half by 11 foot living room space. It is semi open on one side. It has a very nice timber flooring with a rug, which kind of helps with the acoustics. We also have a big window on one side behind the lounge that brings in a lot of natural ambient light, which I like, but he has managed to cover things with some nice roller blinds for a better viewing experience during the day. Let's jump into his surround sound setup and we're kicking things off with his left and his right channels, which are the massive outstanding Klipsch RP280F floor standing speakers, which are the largest in the reference Premier family. These guys produce cinematic sound from two eight inch ceramic metallic woofers and he is built for larger rooms producing quality sound with minimal effort. And of course, no better speaker to pair these with other than the Klipsch RP450C reference premier center speaker, which brings movie dialogue and music lyrics to life. As you guys can see, it has four 5.25 inch serum metallic woofers, contemporary aesthetics with absolute durability that results in a seamless integration into a decor and come with magnetic grills. So obviously Paul setup also includes two surround channels which are once again the reference premier level Klipsch RP150M bookshelf speakers sitting on some nice looking Selby acoustic stands. These speakers deliver excellent listening experience featuring a linear travel suspension which minimizes distortion for enhanced detailed performance. They're elegant, durable and have an output power of 300 watts each. For four Dolby Atmos ceiling channels, like I mentioned before, Paul is a massive fan of Yamaha and chosen these specific speakers because of their lower price tag compared to the Klipsch. And they are the two-way Yamaha 8-inch NCS i800 speakers. These are fantastic ceiling speakers, which also come with paintable grills, produce up to 140 watts of power, and they're white in color, which is perfect for living room white ceilings. Finishing his surround sound setup, these three bad boys shake his entire house and they are the Klipsch Sub 12 subwoofers. As you guys can see, he has placed one on either side of his seating and the third one is tucked away nicely under a custom tabletop which he built himself and added anti-vibration mat in between which turned out great. Very clever and good use of space. For display, he's currently using the Sony 85-inch X85F 4K HDR Android TV. Now, this remarkable piece of tech features Motion Flow XR, which keeps the action smooth, has built-in Chromecast, cable management options, narrow aluminium frame, and weighs about 46 kilogram. And the picture quality is just amazing. Let's work our way down to the amazing-looking AV cabinet, which has a lot of nice toys inside. 
This complete setup is being powered by the legendary 9.2 channel 11.2 processor Yamaha RXV2085 receiver which currently is hooked up to his 4 Dolby Atmos speakers. This receiver has everything you wish to have in an AVR and produces great power and sound. Underneath he's also hooked up a 5 channel amplifier which is the Emotiva BASX A5175 which produces 125 watts of power to each of his clip speakers. Damn that's a lot of juice for a setup this size. Next to it we have a Panasonic DPU-B A24K player for his growing collection of physical media, Nvidia Shield Pro for some streaming content, a 4TB external hard drive, a PlayStation 4 Pro for some gaming and the Netgear Nighthawk S8000 8 port gaming and streaming switch. And of course to protect all his gear, Paul has custom fitted the Thor RF11 smart power rack to his AV cabinet and has added some air circulation with the famous AC Infinity T3 air plate with two fans. For decor on top of his AV cabinet, he has some collectible classic cars and a project carbon turntable which looks sweet, some CD cabinets around the room, a beautiful painting on the wall, some big family picture frames, an awesome looking solid coffee table and two three-seater black lounges which also help with the acoustics of the room. Paul plans to change his viewing experience by adding a 125 inch drop down screen with a 4K projector. So if any of you guys have a similar setup with natural lighting as this one and have suggestions for him, shoot a comment in the section below and I'm sure he would appreciate that. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoy this epic clean setup. I think Paul has done an amazing job and has plenty of future potential upgrade space to go bigger. Let me know if he should keep things the way it is or upgrade his screen to what he plans to do. Does it ruin the living room classy vibe? I'm not so sure. Shoot a comment. And if you guys have any questions for Paul about his room or his tattoo work, shoot a comment and I will also put a link of his Instagram page of his tattoo art. So check it out. Thank you for watching. And if you guys are interested on home theater gear, check out the web link in the description box. They're awesome. Stay safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one.